Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. As college students head off to school, many are getting their first taste of financial independence. And if they're not careful, though, money mistakes they make now could take years to correct. Problem solver Susan Hogan has some tips to make it through the college years. In about a week or so, thousands of kids will be heading off to college and getting their first taste at freedom. But that freedom comes at a price if they don't know how to manage their very first credit card. Zach Woolman and his mom are getting ready to send him off to college for the first time. All right, we've got everything off the, checked off the list. His parents hope he learns a lot, including how to manage his money. I think it's going to come with time. According to college loan company Sally May, the number of students who have credit cards dropped from 42% in 2010 to 30% in 2013. Among credit card users, 75% carry a balance of $500 or less. Financial experts say credit cards are okay if students use them responsibly. You can co-sign uh, with your child to get a credit card, but you can also request certain limits. In a recent study, it found that about a quarter of parents actually help pay a portion of their kids' credit card or debit bills. And as some financial experts will tell you, that's definitely not a way to teach them anything about self-discipline. 80% of students use a debit card for everyday expenses. Experts say choose one with low fees and don't opt for overdraft protection. If the student has an overdraft, yes, they're going to pay up to $35, but they'll learn a valuable lesson. Zach has a debit card. His parents can put money in his account and track his spending. He also has a credit card for emergencies only. And that's where the excitement comes in, is the definition of the word emergency. Experts say it's a learning experience, and sometimes students will learn the hard way. Experts say one advantage to students having credit cards in their own name is they can start to establish credit, but they have to be careful not to make any mistakes. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.